and right into my nursing, okay? But I cannot use these cafeteria gloves. Look at this. This cafeteria lady gloves. I wanna feel you, feel you. I want you around. Y'all, I am crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> Let me tell y'all what I did. Okay, so I had been waiting for my packages to come from Amazon, right? I'm setting, so excuse the messiness, the craziness. <laughs> okay, so I'm waiting for my packages to come from Amazon. I got a, a e not an email, I got a text message from Amazon saying that my packages were delivered. So, okay, I got home late that night and, <clears throat> oh, I don't know what happened to my throat just now. <laughs> so yeah, I got home really late that night. And so um, there were no packages. Uh, at the front door and usually that's how my packages are delivered to me uh they're sitting and waiting for me at the front door so i was thinking okay so maybe they're in the mailbox so the next morning i go check my mailbox and there are no packages so i don't know if i'm scarred or what but girl i assume that somebody stole my packages so like i'm frustrated about it everything so i don't call amazon and i'm like i don't have my packages i got a text message from you guys saying that my packages were uh delivered however there's nothing here um when i did when i checked the mailbox there was a key in the mailbox and it said like usps however never seen this key before don't know what this key is there's no note nothing i assumed that you know the mailman just left it in there i don't know what this key was for <laughs> so anyway amazon is like okay so do you want us to send you out another package or do you want a refund i want my package <laughs> so girl they shipped me out my packages the next day and i also told them i wanted to sign for it so okay the next day post office came and i signed for it <laughs> all right girl a couple hours later um i had some packages delivered to the front door which was the same as that packages usps told me that that key that i had took out of the mailbox was for me to come to the post office and pick up my other packages. So, more of the story is, stop assuming. Nobody stole my packages. I'm just crazy. I jumped to assumptions. <laughs> I thought the worst instead of investigating, okay? Thinking somebody don't stole my packages. Like, girl, I was upset. I was like, who come on somebody's porch and take their packages? <laughs> I thought that was funny. But, yeah um i am about to run a couple errands i got a lot of stuff to do today like i have a lot of stuff to do today and i picked up a shift tonight um with agency your girl ain't did that in a while okay i miss it y'all i miss having my hands dirty i miss it so yeah um i'm picking up and i don't have any scrubs I know as hard as that sounds, like, Terry, how you don't have any scrubs? Well, let me rephrase that. I don't have any scrubs that I want to wear. <laughs> and also, the scrubs that I do have, they just, like, I don't know. You know how you have some scrubs after you wash them? They just start to look very dingy and just, they're just not cute no more. I don't like them. And I'm not wearing them. So, I need to find me some scrubs. I'm going to go to this place called, um, I think it's Scrubs and Beyond or something like that. I don't know, but I'm overdue for some new scrubs. Like y'all, I would literally <laughs> buy scrubs like they're my everyday clothing. I love a fresh pair of new scrubs. Nothing like it. Every time my daughter just see me spray my face, she be like, mommy, why are you spraying your face? You look crazy. <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna go get these scrubs, run these errands, and we're gonna get some good eats.
a hundred and twenty two dollars on scrubs for two pair of scrubs that is crazy you ever want to get um a nurse you know something nice give that girl a gift receipt <laughs> to the scrub shop because they're not cheap they're expensive yeah all right y'all so i'm still in target and i'm on a mission to getting my friend a french press <laughs> and some coffee because this girl she drinks from starbucks like two or three times a day and that's just ridiculous girl you spending too much money and i'm like why won't you just make your own coffee at home and she was like she don't have a coffee maker so i'm gonna introduce her into <laughs> the french press because i love mine and i think she's gonna like it too um i found a really cute coffee mug to go with it i was kind of stuck between if i wanted to get her the um coffee mug or like a to-go cup but i guess since she's always on the go the to-go cup would be better <laughs> However, these little cups be so cute. The coffee mugs, look y'all. Like, look y'all. Hello, gorgeous. Like, they're so cute. You are my favorite, huh? Like, oh, that will be cute. Where's the, I can get her that. You know what? We can get her that and um, the other one. And I yeah. found this one. Like that I don't know. I'm not really feeling this one though. But the mugs, you can never have too many cute coffee mugs. So cute. It's official. <laughs> You're awesome. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. looking for my tea y'all i've been mixing the peppermint and chamomile, chamomile tea together just get one and it's so good so get one peppermint that's the yeah that's the um honey vanilla one i don't really care for that one that one's okay though you got so we got the one peppermint this is the one i'm talking about y'all this peppermint um tea and get a pack of well, a box of the chamomile uh, one tea bag of this one tea bag of the peppermint girl it just opens you all the way up and it's so relaxing like I just I don't even need melatonin after um, after I uh, drink that tea though it's so good Y'all ever come to the Cheesecake Factory? You gotta try these fried macaroni balls, okay? Like, girl, just watch this. Look at this. It's so good, y'all. So I got so full off of the fried macaroni that I couldn't even eat my food. So I told them to box it, and I'm just getting it to go. But look, like, it is. <laughs> Y'all look so good. So it's some lunch rice and meat sauce salmon. So yeah, this is gonna be my dinner for tomorrow. So these are the two pair of scrubs that I got today. Um, this is the brand Healing Hands Purple Label. I love this brand, y'all. Um, this is actually one of my favorite brands. Like the material of it is just everything, girl. Like put these on, I promise you. 
you're not gonna regret it <laughs> they just look so good and they just feel so good against the skin so yeah um it's like in a charcoal gray color i may wear this one tonight but i really do like this color um this is the sketchers brand i haven't worn a pair of the sketch uh, what <laughs> the sketchers scrubs yet but these are just cute and i love how the pants fit so and I'm over the joggers, y'all. So I'll just always get like the regular Schmigler style <laughs> pants. So yeah, we'll see. Not sure which ones I'm gonna wear, but we shall see. So it is not the day after next. <laughs> um, I picked up two nights this week with agency and this is my second night, okay? And let me tell y'all what happened when I got here. So, as expected, I was going to be the only nurse on the unit. However, I didn't expect to find, well, to walk into what I walked into. So, long story short, when I got there, well, here, I got a report from, um, I guess it was a report from the nurse and we counted um, narcs. Apparently, she didn't know how any of these residents took their medications. And I'm like, girl, well, I'm thinking this. I didn't say it. <laughs> so I'm thinking, okay, so you've been here a whole eight-hour shift, and you don't know how these people take their medicine? Like, what? Okay, whatever. So I kind of just, like, went based off of their diet <laughs> and, you know, you know, assessed them in, at some of the CNAs. So that was a big help. Anyway, um... She was getting ready to leave and there's two carts on the unit. So I was waiting on the cart. I was like, oh, we we not gonna count this cart. Like she was like, oh no, that nurse left. Left? I was like, okay, report like keys. Like what's gonna happen? She said, oh, she left the keys inside of the um she said she left the keys inside the narc book. So just left the keys at the cart, you know, at the narc in the narc book, like a while. You know, you know better. <laughs> you do not do that. And I was like, okay, so I'm not touching this cart. So let me find the nurse supervisor. Because again, I'm not touching this cart like this. Okay, so get the nurse supervisor. She just on this one about it. I guess this happened there all the time. These people do what they want to do. <laughs> I've never walked into that. I never had that happen. So anyway, me and her, we count. And she actually gave me the report on the whole floor. So that helped me out. Um, but I can't believe the lady just left like that. Like, they was like, oh, well, she did a 16. I'm like, okay, well, did she leave early? Because I was here like 10 minutes before. Like, you, girl, you, I don't know, y'all. Don't do that. We work too hard for our license, for real. And at this point, I'm just over these long-term care facilities, y'all. I cannot wait to finish school because they're all becoming the same. Like, it's getting bad out here at these places, y'all. You know, and it sucks for the residents because this is their home. And I don't know, but I'm just, I'm over it. So ghetto, okay? What's also ghetto is I bring my own. <laughs> I bring my own, um, gloves. I'm gonna tell y'all why. And yes, it's completely sanitary because I'll take it right out of the box, right into the Ziploc bag, and right into my nurse bag, okay? But I cannot use these cafeteria gloves. Look at this. This cafeteria lady gloves. I can't use these. They're like, I don't know. I don't like how they feel or fit. Like, it just, it just be weird. <laughs> but yeah, so that was the situation. Uh, and another thing so I had some wound care to do so you know usually the wound uh, treatment carts on one floor honey I go out to the cart each drawer was empty and it was like just think of it as it was stocked fully before and I was just left over stuff nothing was really in there couldn't do no treatment so um, I went to another unit they didn't, their cart was 72. I've never seen an empty treatment cart. Like, what? 
So y'all ain't doing treatment, nurse? They're like, no, we doing the treatments. I'm like, well, where's the stuff, for real? But anyway, I end up gathering supplies from the third unit I walked to. So I'm about to change this lady dressing. Got some balls here. Some sodium chloride. And which one is this? Just that all in dressing. Yeah. Humalog. Four all eight. Okay. He already got it. Let's see what his put. Sugar water. Yeah, y'all, I don't want this video to be too long. So I think I'm gonna end it here. Cause I can already see <laughs> what kind of night it's about to be.